partnered by Times Influence. A celebration of brilliance. 1,258 nominations from across 51 cities were in the race of excellence. 800 top hoteliers across India were spellbound. The ninth edition of Hotelia India Awards 2017 was held recently in New Delhi to celebrate excellence in the hospitality business. The mega event was presented by Blue Star powered by Herman in association with Schneider Electric and Hotel Evade. These awards acknowledge the efforts of hospitality professionals from different departments across brands, across hotel categories and across regions who've worked tirelessly to achieve perfection in their trade. The spotlight tonight is on hoteliers, ladies and gentlemen. This year, the Hotelier India Awards had nominated contenders in 18 different categories which had to go through a rigorous jury process. The event was started with the welcome speeches by S. Sai Kumar, Deputy Managing Director, ITP, and Bibhor Srivastav, Group Publishing Director, ITP. For ITP Media Group in India, hospitality industry has been a pillar of support and especially for Hotelier India over the years. The, the kind of enthusiasm and energy we saw from the industry was fabulous. With a number of game-changing reforms announced by Government of India, the economy is poised to show substantial gain. And this will affect the growth of Indian hospitality sector in a positive manner. Every year, our shortlisted candidates and winners represent not just the best practices, but also the intellectual capital of Indian hospitality. It also gives us the glimpse of future leaders of Indian hospitality sector. Nine years have been very eventful. Bibor, will you take us through the journey of what we have done in nine years? Like most of you, I'm also a very big fan of Mahinda Singh Dhoni. And media, as it is, always keeps asking very tricky questions. And they keep asking him time and again, what is it that you do? Helicopter shots, centuries after centuries. He paused and he said, I'm not running for centuries. I'm running for partnerships. So ladies and gentlemen, ITP Media Group, Hotel Air India truly believes in great magical partnership and the testimony of this fact that we see all of you. I'm not going to take you much of your time. Do continue to share your love and your support and your belief and be truly transparent testimony to deliver the best. Ladies and gentlemen, absolute pleasure. Thank you once again. Have a lovely evening. From Blue Star, we have with us Mr. V.S. Ashok, who is Vice President of Conditioning and Refrigeration Service Group. I now invite him here on the dais. It is indeed a great pleasure and privilege uh, for Blue Star and uh, personally for me uh, to be associated with this prestigious and uh, landmark event. My best wishes to ITP and uh, all the participants here in making this event a grand success. We also take pride uh, in the fact that we are one of the oldest companies. Um, we are going to celebrate our Platinum Jubilee uh, within uh, less than a year's time, September 2018 to be precise, we will be completing 75 years. So in this last uh, seven decades, uh, we have come a long way. We have done very many prestigious uh, uh, landmark hotels and uh, many of the hotels here uh, in Delhi, Mumbai, Calcutta, has been done by, mostly by Blue Star. In fact, one out of every three hotels is air conditioned by Blue Star. Conclude, uh, I would say that we are indeed delighted to be associated with this wonderful industry, and we would be more than happy to partner with you uh, as you scale much, much greater heights. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, wishing you one of the great year ahead. Thank you very much.
And thank you for your partnership. Thank you very much for presenting partner Blue Star, ladies and gentlemen. I'm now going to invite on stage the Bhavar House Dynamo editor of Hotelier India magazine and digital studio magazine, Vinito Bhatia. Step on up. I'm quickly going to run you through the uh, process that we follow for the nominations and uh, the selection of the winners. Most of you are oh, probably aware of how it goes. This year was a stellar year, like Mr. Sai Kumar has already mentioned. Uh, we started a process almost four months ago, and it is very transparent. The nomination forms are uploaded on our website after discussing with various people from the industry. Uh, the questions were there. We got 1,258 nominations from over 51 cities all over the country, which is a probably the most nominations we've ever received in uh, the history of Atelier India. And I think that round of applause is something that you should be giving to yourself, which shows that you actually believe in what we are doing, and that's the reason all of you want to be up here receiving the awards from uh, the members of your own fraternity. May I request all the jury members to please join me on stage. Next up was the much anticipated award ceremony where the hotelier community cheered the outstanding contribution of their peers as well as stalwarts. Talking about stalwarts, we begin the 9th Hotelier India Awards 2017 ceremony with the Lifetime Achievement Award. Ladies and gentlemen, please applaud Mr. Binod Chaudhary, Chairman CG Corp. I'm really, truly humbled to be receiving this award here in India in the midst of uh, the stalwarts of the hotel industry and more importantly, the juries, the quality of the juries and, uh, you know, the, the distinguished standard that they bring in and they thought of me as a worthy candidate for this role so that in itself is something extraordinary and I'm really uh, very happy that the work has been recognized. We now move on to the next category, the next prestigious category, the Hall of Fame Awards. This award recognizes hoteliers who have a profound and positive impact on the hotel industry. Well, it is with a great pleasure that I invite on stage Mr. Rajiv Menon, CEO of Asia. <laughs> China, Marriott International Inc. I feel this is something special, uh, not just for me, but for the great work that Marriott Associates continue to do around India. Um, as I said on the stage, uh, I am thrilled to contribute to the success of the industry that I'm so passionate about. So once again, thank you so much for the recognition. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in applauding Mr. Dilip Puri, founder and CEO, Indian School of Hospitality.
It's really never been about um, opening great hotels, running great hotels, building brands, building portfolios. Um, those have been uh, uh, good factors in success I've achieved, but really I think my true success has come from uh, the privilege of working with people, uh, the privilege of influencing people, impacting people, uh, seeing them succeed uh, in their journeys, and then to see so many of them here, uh, to be able to recognize uh, uh, this accolade I've got is very, very special. Now, uh, this award is a key one for the hospitality industry because it touches upon two important elements, sustainability and project development. And the winner of the Editorial Choice Project and Sustainability Person of the Year Award is Amitabh Tyagi, Vice President and Head, Technical Services, Taj Hotels, Resorts and Palaces. Now there is one division in a hotel, um, the people, they, they have this role of a mix of science, art and I think a bit of magic there too. Sales Revenue Person of the Year. We head into the luxury to upper upscale categories. We have a runner up in this category, runner up, put your hands together for Ananya Sinha. Next award is for Director of Rooms. In the luxury to upper upscale segment, I'm going to invite on stage Neha Bose, Triton Gurgaon. In every business, ladies and gentlemen, procurement is a keystone to ensure a sound, a sound supply chain and overall successful business strategy. Our next set of awards salutes those individuals who do this job so perfectly. We have a runner-up in this category. Please join me in congratulating Gajendra Shringi, Umed Bhavan Palace, Jodhpur, Taj Hotels, The next award is uh, also related to chefs. The Master Chef Sanjeev Kapoor Hotelier India Award, Young Chef of the Year 2017. Put your hands together, everyone, for Tanvir Quatra, Director of Cuisine, W Goa. I invite on stage Vineet Panchi of Word of Mouth Consulting to please take Dias and compare this set of awards. Now these awards do not fall under any specific business domain in the hospitality industry, ladies and gentlemen. And yet I believe they have the maximum impact when it comes to satisfaction. These highlight the accomplishments of individuals who have gone above and beyond the call of duty to ensure that they make a positive impact. Heartened to say that this year we received over 37 nominations for this very special award, and it's called Unsung Heroes. Ladies and gentlemen, join your hands for the unsung heroes of the hotel industry. Sanjay Burgis from the Imperial Delhi. And ladies and gentlemen, with that, we move to the next set of awards. We are now presenting for the Chief Engineer of the Year. And the winner is 
Rothin Banerjee, Taj Diplomatic Enclave. This one is one division in the hotel business that has displayed increased contribution to the overall revenue and is therefore seen as critical to driving overall asset value and profitability as well. And the people behind this are food and beverage manager of the year. We have two winners, Nikhil Kher, Trident Gurgaon and Rajat Kalia, the Leela Palace, New Delhi. Headed towards felicitating digitally savvy people who dedicate their time and energy to finding the best technologies that will help their organizations into becoming more efficient and more productive. We are talking about the IT person of the year. We have a runner up in this segment. Please put your hands together for Rajat Patra from Tident Gurgaon. And the winner in this segment is Ambar Jain, Pullman and Novotel, New Delhi, Aero City, Ambar Jain. The next category, Project Manager of the Year, these are presented to professionals who have displayed a wide ranging set of abilities including technical knowledge, team management skills, organizational and problem solving expertise on various hospitality projects. And in luxury to upper upscale, the winner is Amit Chaube, ITC Maratha, Mumbai. Now, this is the most awaited category, probably, and is also the most uh, strongly contested for. It acknowledges the dynamic individuals who have achieved success for their respective properties, displayed strong managerial skills and excellence in customer service while inspiring their team. It is General Manager of the Year. So we have two winners. Anupam Das Gupta, General Manager, Oberai, Mumbai. And Shrijan Vadhera, General Manager, Fairmont, Jaipur. This uh, is, is, is much more important to me uh, because this is not only my win, this is my team's win, this is my hotel's win, and this is the win for the people who have supported me. The uh, award really goes, to the, goes out to the uh, 500, the League of 500 Extraordinary Ladies and Gentlemen who uh, tirelessly, uh, consistently deliver warmth, sophistication, and style every day to all our guests. The nominees in upscale to mid market. And the winner, ladies and gentlemen, Molina Gupta, come on up! General Manager, Hyatt Place, good go! I am privileged to be the first general manager, lady general manager to have won this award and I know ITP acknowledged that. Um, I just hope this is one of many to come. Um, I believe in gender diversity and I want to contribute not only for performance but for opportunities as well. It was really not very easy for us to really decide a leader amongst leaders. All of you are leaders here and there are people who have exemplified themselves both in the domestic market and in the international market. I'd like to present to you 
Mr. Farah Jamal as CEO for Taj Western Region. Awards are always uh, a great recognition and great uh, 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 ways to encourage people to continue to perform better. It also uh, makes you feel that you 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 can it gives you an opportunity to thank people who have actually made this possible. Managed multi-unit portfolio for Starwood, and now is. Vice President, multi-unit for luxury brand of Marriott International, Mr. Anurag Bhatnagar. Seven years back, I'd won the GM of the Year. Uh, when I was stationed at the West in Pune, Koregaon Park. So it's an amazing feeling and I think it's a recognition of what above property work entails and the kind of leadership that's required to be above property and the guidance that's required. So it's a validation of that. So thank you very much, Hotelier, for being a pioneer and coming up with this amazing innovation which really keeps some old stalwarts like is also in the business. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, last act of the evening and I feel truly privileged um, uh, to talk about um, our winners of the CEO of the year 2017. Um, so, somebody who's been an inspiration to so many people, uh, leader par excellence, I don't think any salutations I can give today uh, can really define uh, this gentleman. As someone who's been a mentor to me, I feel so privileged to present him with the Domestic CEO of the Year Award, Ajay Bakaya. It's always good to be recognized by your, by your peers and uh, by the industry that you worked in for, for so long. Um, I'm, I'm very humbled. The CEO of the year, 2017 International Brands, his leadership is really defined by his humility. His operating style is defined by this great eye for detail he has. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Raj Rana, CEO of the year, International Brands. It has been an absolutely stunning evening, spectacular if I might say, very rewarding for the award winners as well as for the others in the room to see such tremendous talent that we have uh, in India. And uh, I'm grateful for Hotelier India to, be, to make available this platform for these, uh, for these people to be recognized for the good work that they're doing. Like they say, all good things to come and end. And with a promise, lots of inputs. I don't have the heart to delay you any further. It's been absolutely in, in wretching evening. And thank you for all your support and love. We promise to you come next year in our 10th edition with a lot of strong reasons and a lot of surprises. Thank you all. Partnered by Times Influence.